SHOT SHOW 2016 AT THE CARACAL BOOTH. HELLO, SIR, HOW ARE YOU? I'M WELL. MY NAME IS JEFF SPALDING. I'M VICE PRESIDENT OF OPERATIONS WITH CARACAL USA. WE'RE EXCITED TO SPIN YOU UP ON OUR NEW DEVELOPMENTS AND OUR PROCESSES uh, FOR THE U.S. MARKET COMING IN 2016. FIRST UP HERE, WE HAVE THE, the CAR 814. THE CARACAL 814 IS A DIRECT IMPINGEMENT 556 uh, AR RIFLE. And it is produced here in the United States under our partnership with Wilcox Industries in New Hampshire. Uh, we're excited to be able to offer the U.S. market U.S. made product. And the Caracal 814 and the 816 are the first products that are currently in production in the United States. This here is the 816, which is the short stroke gas piston version uh, of our CAR family of rifles. Uh, this is offered in semi-automatic as well as the select fire configurations in both the direct impingement as well as the short stroke gas piston. Uh, these are also currently in production in the United States uh, up in New Hampshire. We offer different barrel lengths, different versions uh, to include our Caracal 816 uh, with the Wilcox fusion rail system. Fusion rail system is a one single power source uh, through this battery pack here, it powers the fusion rail system, which then powers the 12 o'clock sight, 6 o'clock light, with all controls for your attachments being on the, the foreguard, the handguard itself. We're very excited about that. We've got some really good feedback on the fusion rail system. Uh, and it again it is mounted onto the Caracal 816 short stroke piston 556 rifle. Uh, over here we have the 816 with the fusion rail with a 40 millimeter grenade launcher mounted. Uh, we've got some really good feedback on this as well and our corp uh, cooperation with Wilcox allows us to service not only the consumer market in the U.S. but the uh, defense market worldwide. Uh, so we're excited to be able to bring uh, a redefined way of addressing the world defense market uh, with our cooperation with Wilcox Industries. And we'll move over here to our Caracal CC-10s. It's the Caracal CC-10, a 9mm carbine. It is uh, slated for production in the U.S. Uh, moving into next year. Currently in production are the 5.56 rifles, but this one is going to be on the docket to bring to the U.S. market. We're really excited with this. Uh, limited, limited numbers being imported from the UAE for 2016 while we tool up and spin up the manufacturing processes for quantity production in 2017. But uh, we're happy to finally be able to bring this to the U.S. market. And we look forward to a lot of success with the CC-10 rifle. Now, I'm just guessing here, will those be compatible with uh, the Caracal? Uh, pistol magazine. That is correct. Yeah, they take the same magazines. That's correct. And do you have an MSRP anywhere? Yeah, we're looking to keep that around the $650 range for the MSRP. That is very approachable. I like that. Absolutely. So we'll head on over here. I'll take you to the pistols. So what we have here is the Caracal Enhanced Model F, uh, which has undergone the complete program review. Uh, after the, the recall that we had in 2012, we have addressed all issues with that as well as some additional issues while we were down inside the the program design of the gun, we decided to make a lot of the changes that the uh, international industry was looking for, international market. So we've uh, got a little more aggressive on the, on the serrations on the slide to give you a better contact patch on the slide. We've uh, done away with the one-piece fire control unit that incorporated the rear sight. We've now uh, added a dovetailed rear sight with a wider rear notch. We've added another trigger pin. Uh, to the trigger system there to eliminate the possibility of inertia operating the trigger on, on drop and then moving to the inside of the gun we have uh, gone with a single one-piece multifunction unit which increases rigidity increases durability increases lifespan while decreasing felt recoil uh, and muzzle rise so we still maintain the uh, same exterior ergonomics physical properties sizes uh, from before uh, with a very low bore axis very low weight low mass slide still the same excellent trigger press that everybody loved for the first time around we've just simply enhanced uh, the pistol itself so now from here we'll move on down to our precision rifles before we do that MSRPs on the pistols yeah MSRP on the pistol for the US market we're trying to keep it uh, in the low sixes uh, somewhere in there for the Model F enhanced for the MSRP uh, there will be some limited import on this to satisfy our recall customers 
uh, that are still holding on to their guns because they want replacements. Uh, so we intend to service those first. Now, once that has been satisfied, we'll look to do some limited product placement for market uh, testing as well as T&E uh, review, so on and so forth to establish our uh, manufacturer while we tool up for 2017 for our large uh, manufacturing, which will happen here in the U.S. Now, I notice you also have the enhanced in the QuickSight version. Absolutely, yeah. The QuickSight was very popular in the U.S. market, uh, so we've obviously kept that QuickSight uh, option available, uh, and this will be available uh, manufactured here in the U.S. when we spin that up. Uh, so commercially available, you'll have the Model F, full standard sight rail, uh, sight radius, as well as the quick sight option uh, coming back to the U.S. commercial market. Now, has the quick sight always had this option right here? No, no, no. We've, we've, we've left the dovetail in there in case somebody wanted to, say, you know, run an RMR or something like that. And gotcha. we, we left it on the, that's why we dovetailed all of them, just in case, yeah. uh, to give them some configuration ability, uh, you know, and not lock them into a, a single option. Perfect. I like it. So we'll head over here and take a look at the precision rifles. Let's do it. So what we have here is the Caracal CS308. Uh, as has always been the case, the CS308 was designed and developed and is currently in manufacture for a specific procurement request from the United Arab Emirates Presidential Guard. Uh, so at this time, this rifle is still not something that's available uh, anywhere commercially. Uh, we look to hopefully someday be able to import this product, but as it stands now, all of it is being run directly for the UAE Presidential Guard. However, as a subsidiary of Caracal, Hanel, uh, who is a corporation that falls underneath the Caracal umbrella, uh, produces extremely high quality German engineered, German manufactured uh, precision sniper systems. This here is the Hanel RS9, which is a 338 Lapua Magnum. And in November of last year, 2015, this rifle was awarded the German Army Special Forces uh, mid-range sniper contract. Uh, competed against every major name in the industry uh, who competed for the tender, and we were fortunate enough to have the Hanel rifle selected uh, for the German Army Special Forces sniper contract. So these are the first two to ever be imported into the United States. They're going to be coming in through Caracal USA for distribution to the commercial market. Uh, coming in through 2016, we'll be using these on a limited import basis again for specific targeting and uh, marketing uh, testing and evaluation as well as uh, law enforcement and military demonstrations and we will look to import larger quantities in 2017 for the commercial market so it's available in the RS9 configuration as a 338 Lapua and the RS8 configuration as a 308 and again working in our cooperation with Wilcox, we're able to provide everything from the ground up. So what you see here is the Pinel RS8 with the Steiner optics, with the Wilcox and BAE systems uh, night vision, as well as the Wilcox uh, Raptor system. So Caracal is positioning itself in such a way to be able to provide not only a semi-automatic striker fired handgun to the U.S. market, but satisfy the international defense industry. And, uh, thank you so much for watching and thanks for coming by the Caracal booth and I appreciate your time. Once again, it's Caracal at SHOT Show 2016.